Nobody next to me on rainy. Hi guys. Okay, so I am about to leave for Big Bear. I have everything packed. Oh my goodness, my chair is moving. Um, I thought I would show you guys uh, the other Telfar bag that I bought because it finally came in the mail. It actually came in the mail maybe like a week and a half ago and I've just been letting it sit in here. So I'm going to show this to you. So the reason why I bought this, I've been seeing after the rainbow sale, I saw a lot of people like comments. I mean, I, it's totally understandable because when I first saw uh, Telfar as a brand, I honestly thought it was a free bag with purchase, like those free cosmetic pouches, you know, when you get like buy like $45 at Clinique or Lancome and stuff like that. So I totally get it, but I've definitely, definitely grown to love it. I wanted to add a medium size purely for like travel. Even honestly, I would use this as like a gym a gym bag in the sense of like to keep in my locker not to actually roam around in the gym with if that makes sense so if i'm ever gonna shower at the gym for some reason i could just keep my stuff in here so this is a very like nice but for sure a casual bag just because my longchamp bags i just oh the, my tan one is probably one of my most used like travel whatever bags and it's so dirty and i just cannot clean the nylon so anyways i wanted to show you my new telfar bag like i said i did get the medium size i just want to show you guys the color this one i got it in the olive color just because i wanted something neutral and you guys know me i really like green this is the medium size so it's crazy to me i'm wondering how big the large is the large must be ginormous in comparison this will be the last telfar bag i will buy for myself i have three of the tiny ones and i have all the tiny ones that i wanted and then i just wanted one medium size just for like travel and stuff just in terms of size comparison if you guys want to see this one in terms of width is just a smidge maybe like two centimeters longer than the dior book tote if they're pretty similar pretty similar but obviously this one does come with a strap i feel like this is basically a cheaper version of the on the go tote obviously actually is the on the go tote straps removable i'm not sure i need to look it up but actually i don't think they are i don't think they are i think people just usually stuff them but anyways yes i feel like this is definitely um of the mm size i would say because you basically have oh my god i never that never even occurred to me but yes but this is the color i feel like that was just such a pointless conversation but so this is the back there's obviously no logo on the back and then there is one zipper pocket right over here if you guys want to see and then yeah it's pretty much it i think i'm gonna keep my laptop in here i'm gonna put the price of this like retail like somewhere over here just so you guys can see but yeah so this is the olive color i need to finish packing because i'm just killing time as we speak and i'll probably just jump cut this to big bear about to play a drinking game but i thought i would show you the room really quick i took a nap earlier because i love sleeping so we have a window over here you guys see the christmas light and then i have my celine vanity pouch i might do like a what's in my vanity pouch just for the vlog but they have like the whole ikea setup which is really cute so yeah we're gonna go play games good morning so i thought i would show you guys what i packed in my little celine vanity case my skin is currently going crazy but it was by choice because i ate an entire bag of hot fries last night and i have no regrets I just packed like minimal makeup so i thought i would show you what i packed in here so first i'm gonna put it right over here 
So I'm not going in any particular order. So I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Mood Light. This Clio Eyeshadow Gallery looks like for my base, I brought the Rose Ink Concealer and the Tint. I have the shade 050 and 070, and then this is 060. <laughs> I love how all three of these are different shades. Then I also have Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light in Sandy Cheeks. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Then I have the Fenty Matchsticks in Mocha. I love how when these first came out, people actually didn't like them because they were too dry. And then because of TikTok, like it really brought these back that they even extended their color range. I also have the Clay de Peau Concealer because obviously my face needs a lot of concealing. And then for brows, I have two Kosas products. It came in like this bundle set. Also the NYX brow pencil. And my last three products is this MAC, basically like a tinted lip balm as part of the Black Cherry collection. The Tower 28 mascara. And then the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Alrighty, I thought I would show you guys just my quick makeup for the trip. I finally got this viral Shiseido, Shiseido stick, the sunscreen stick. I don't have TikTok, but everybody has been talking about this. So I thought I would give it a go this weekend. I remember there's this one girl on her YouTube reels that she applies this. Like the beauty of this stick is that you can wear it over makeup, but I would never do that. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this. It's actually really not cold. I literally went outside wearing this entire outfit with Crocs and it wasn't cold at all, so that was unfortunate. I mean, it makes sense because a lot of the ice is melting, so it sounds like it's raining, but it's actually not raining. I've had this brush for years and I love it so much. I don't even think they sell this anymore. It's a Japanese brush. It's from the drugstore, but it's actually so amazing, like synthetic wise. It's so sad because my skin was clearing up finally, which is why I haven't been filming anything, is because my skin was just so bad. Like, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't make you guys look at something like that. And then I went on this Big Bear trip and it just went out the window. I mean, again, my fault because I was eating hot fries and I've mentioned this before, but hot fries, I think it's the dairy in the hot fries that makes me break out. I don't know why like the cheese bit or the artificial cheese i don't know all right so i have two shades of this this is technically my summer shade but i'll just mix it because this one's kind of light too i think my perfect shade in this would be 60 so i don't know why i keep getting like the darker one and the lighter one but whatever i forgot my lip balm which is really really sad I love this concealer because it's so full coverage, like so full coverage. I think we're gonna go get breakfast soon, even though it's kind of late. I fell asleep so early yesterday because I was just throwing up so much. And then I woke up at like 12.05 and that's when everyone was gonna go to sleep. So then we went on a night walk, which was really, really nice. Like. It was cold, but it wasn't too cold. Like, do you see that coverage? It's like, obviously you can see like the raised pimples, but in terms of like discoloration though, honestly, it's like medium, like a solid medium coverage, but the finish is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera just cause it's gonna take a minute. Be right back. Okay, so the eyebrows are on <clears throat> my throat. Terrible. I'm gonna be using the powder. Actually, I haven't used this in a while. This powder I used to use I have this in the two other shades and I hit pan on both of them. I think I had dim light and luminous light. And then I've always wanted to try mood because it's kind of like a purple, like brightening powder. But yes, I used this like the day before we left and I was like, oh, I forgot how much I like this. I'm gonna take the Fenty contour. I know some people go like this, but for me personally, when I slide it on my face, it like smears my foundation. And then I'm gonna add the blush. I love this blush, it's so pretty. And then lastly, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. I've been neglecting this because when this went viral, I bought it. And then I just started using my Rare Beauty liquid highlighters. So I brought this, so I would use this again. So this is what it looks like. So obviously you can still see my texture, but it's like 
but it's still very luminous because of the dewy peach and lily skin mist. So yes. Alrighty, let's go back outside. He was like, can I ask you a question? And I was like, of course you can. And he was like, is your name Celine? And I was like, oh no, this is just a brand. Um, he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So he thought my beanie was personalized. I should have just lied and said that it was. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna slip. Should I take the risk? I'm gonna take the risk. It's my last time with the snow. Bye, snow. Just need your company. 